They settle. Paris, Texas getting a little agitated there in the gates. Racing this time, all missing it badly off the inside. Orange Strudel came out three behind them at the start. Paris, Texas commenced very quickly, and so did Stride Out and Hit Tunes up there, and so is West 54th. Behind them, Remunerator going up as well. Invincible Warrior after the start from Sigil coming across from its wide gate. Then Venus Ebony and Cyberpunk three deep. He's forced to go back into the field, grinding hard next, and after missing the jump, Orange Strudel is next, and then High T and Shuhu trailed them. They go by the 700 stride out the chestnut led by a length when they'd settle down running second the favorite paris texas remunerators kicked up to be right there in the box seat nearing the home bend over on the outside then came west 54th and then out there three deep is hit tune venus ebony's on the inside of invincible warrior about to come around heels and set after them further back is cyberpunk and orange strudel now getting held up in the straight but stride out led them balancing tackled immediately by paris texas remunerator went for the split his west West 54th down the outside, coming with its run as well. West 54th on the outside of Paris, Texas. 100 left to go. West 54th, Paris, Texas trying to rally, but West 54th is too good. West 54th beat Paris, Texas. A tight go third. Sigil or on the outside, Shuhu from Remunerator, who peaked slightly on his effort late. Then came Orange Strudel. Had its chances absolutely ruined at the start there when it missed the kick by three. Cyberpunk back there with it. Venus Ebony, Invincible Warrior didn't let down in the straight, then high T, stride out had dropped right back into the field, hit tune and grinding hard. In 113-18, West 54th blinkers on, second up, and has finished too well for Paris, Texas. Number seven, West 54th, from the yard of Chris Ganjemi, 7, 10 and 250. 460 to eight dollars there it did nothing but blow in the market close for third between shoe who remunerators there as well got another last dive in after looming as a bit of a threat sigils in the middle of those as we wait for the minor placing the winner though and o'reilly striptease gelding for gan jimmy thoroughbreds dick wade mercon racing s fraser m yeek peter nucky there aboard the winner Paris, Texas, Jared Noski. Trained by Lindsay Smith, by Hinch and Brook from Hialeah Staffer, Chris Wells, Tony Patrizzi. And the judge pours over the photo result between Shuhu, Remunerator, and Sigil, which is in the middle. Now we're getting some news through in regards to the start and Doran Strudel. And the stewards will be reviewing. OK, thanks to Harold Taylor there in the tower. So uh, punters, just for the time being, advised to hold tickets in regards to Orange Strudel, who missed the kick noticeably from that inside barrier. 14, Remunerator, in fact, kicks to run third in front of nine, Shuhu and Sigil. So 7 to 14, 9, Remunerator's kicked to grab third again. He's a uh, really nice horse. Uh, he's probably still six or 12 months away, but uh, no, hopefully he's in for a big future. And the blinkers did the trick today? Yeah, definitely. Um, got him travelling around the bend. Uh, still a bit green, wobbled around the bend and uh, wanted to pull up when he hit the front. But uh, no, it's a sensational ride from Lux today, so no, it's great. I know breeding suggests that this son of O'Reilly will get further. Does he show you at home that he's a horse that would get over more of a trip or is he defying his breeding because he's printing pretty well? No, he's, uh, everything he showed us is that he'll stay all day. So I think he's just pretty smart and uh, he's able to win the short ones as well. When do we see him over more ground? Uh, I think the 1,400 in about two and a half weeks on a Saturday. We'll just space his runs, like I say, still a bit light and uh, a little bit weak sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll just space his runs. I think two and a half weeks is a 1,400 for him. Great job. Thanks, buddy. There's Chris Ganjemi there, and he wins aboard, or wins with his galloper, West 54th, who's got a lot of ability. And that's its second victory from three starts, this son over O'Reilly. He's a horse worth watching, especially when he gets out to more of a trip. And that's quite scary because he's beaten a pretty handy field here today. OK, let's head to Launceston. Here is Jason, also Chantel once again. Thanks for your company here on Sky Thoroughbred Central at Ascot. We will catch you again on Saturday from this very venue. But here's Jason and Chantel. with
Peter Nucky, who rode this also trade here, West 54th, a really good performance. Paris, Texas, second, the 14th, third, Shu Hu back and forth, and Sigil was fifth in the end. But Nux, that was a gem of a ride by one of our better jockeys for so many years here in WA. A brilliant ride from Peter Nucky. We'll be keen to get his thoughts. We spoke pre-race about the fact that this horse jumped from a wide gate, and that may have actually been more of a benefit rather than having been caught up along the inside. Drawn wide, able to give him plenty of clear running throughout. How much of a factor was that? Yeah, I think it's more, um, it was Michael's call. He wanted to go with the blinkers because he's been slow and learning to, to race properly. And um, I was thinking more of a big picture for him because of his breeding down the track a mile further. But the boys want to make him make him race, and that's what we've done today. And he, you know, drawn probably a little bit awkward, was able to give him momentum to roll forward. And I thought Jared was the only danger. We didn't want to be too far off his back on turning for home. And, you know, that sort of worked out good. You felt like you had the mare to your inside covered cornering and up the straight? I did, because I know because of his breeding, you know there's going to be a lot in the tank. You know, he's an O'Reilly. They're bred in the purple, you know. I thought there'd be a lot there. He didn't do a lot to get across. So if he didn't, I would be disappointed with him. A very nice way to finish the day. Well done. Thanks, man. Peter Nucky and West 54th. Chris Ganjemi with another lightly raced galloper who's certainly going places. He's got Shackleton. He'll be running here on a Saturday in one of the sprint events as a youngster looking for two win, uh, three wins, I should say, on the trot. So the camp is in form. The winners could keep coming. It's been another big day here at Ascot. Thanks for that, Matty. Yeah, great to have your company on this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, <laughs> some idiots there putting a snake on the table. <laughs> well, it's great to have your company. I'll catch you again from Ascot on Saturday. In fact, Gloucester Park Friday night for WA Pacing Cup night. <laughs>